hello guys i'm back with another tutorial for you and this tutorial will focus on how sync predict utility works and what are the benefits of using it so in my earlier tutorial i explained you that how to install the sync predict utility on your server and today we are going to see that how it works basically how it will work on your server and what benefits it will give to you so first of all i'll explain that how it works and then the benefits so there is a way to run it via uvsh utility so in your ds engine directory there will be a bin directory and over there there will be a uvsh utility which basically takes you to the data stage command language format so there are very simple steps to perform it you should log in with your ds adm id that is data stage admin account id so step 1 is login to the unix server where ds engine is installed and step 2 is go to ds engine directory and perform below steps first of all sourcing ds environment file if you want to know that what is ds environment file just check out my other another tutorial which explain that what is odbc.ini file what is dscnv file and what is your host file so once i'll source it whatever the variables are present in this dscnv file will be taken ahead in all the uh, you know all the work we will be doing then second is dot slash bin uvsh this command will take us into uvsh utility that is data stage command language format where we can fire our commands now the process to fire this command is sync project space the project name on which you want to fire this utility space options what options you want to run first option is report dot only that means if you want to generate a report on a project that if everything is correct on the project or is there any redundancy between your data stage server project and your metadata repository is there any job which is corrupted is there any container which is corrupted so it will basically generate only a report on the project it will not do anything else and it will give you the report you can find it out what needs to be done now there are three type of repair options repair dot all repair dot ask and reconstruct the most powerful features in all you know uh, among three years reconstruct i'll explain you how so repair dot all and repair dot ask have you know very uh, limited work to do in case your job is corrupted or you know your ds underscore job uh, you know uh, file is corrupted in your project basically it is a very limited scenario in which it will work and repair the project so in repair dot all is basically it will check what are the inconsistencies and it will fix it without asking to the user what repair dot ask is do is it will find the inconsistency and then it will ask to you that either you want to fix this error or not if you will press yes then it will fix that error and move on to the next error to find out otherwise it will not fix that error and move to the second one now come to reconstruct basically reconstruct why it is uh, you know powerful is it will if you fire this command with sync predict utility it will re generate your project whatever the content are present in your server and whatever the content present on your metadata repository it will sync all those uh, you know jobs and containers and the items present and rest of the things will be deleted from the project which is corrupted or which is not matching so whatever the issue you have your in your project and your project is not opening your project is corrupted and your job is not opening if you do this reconstruct option everything wrong in the project will be vanished will be removed will be deleted and only the matching objects which are same in your project and same in your metadata repository will stay everything else will be vanished and you will be able to log into your project now here comes the option backup now why we need the backup of a project let us assume that today there is a project in production which which got corrupted it is not opening at all or the project is taking a lot of time but still time out issue is happening it is not opening in that case there are two type of scenarios one your project is having an infrastructure where there is a backup and recovery team who is taking regular backup either twice in a month or once in a month they can you know just revert it back to its original position 
by the backup they have taken or in case you don't have any infrastructure set up like this in that case this utility comes up as a boon for you for the admins you can fire this command sync project space project name space option that is backup it will take the backup of the project but what is the con of this pro is like you have take the backup you have taken the backup you are secured what is the con is you should have enough space in your project directory file system to accommodate that backup in case you do not have extra space you just work with your admin team unix admin team or linux admin team whatever the server admins are and increase the space so that you can take backup of all the projects so that whenever there is a need to restore it back you can restore it back the last but not the least is restore it is just a replica back to backup whatever the backup you are taking in case the project is deleted or there is a file getting uh, corrupted and that is not getting corrected in that case you can delete the project and restore from the backup you have taken so now i'll i'll show you how to do it practically let me take an example i have a project z_1234 and there is only one job abc reside to this project let me open it and show you this is a job and you let me try to compile it if i am able to compile it or not so pre compilation is in progress so now you can see that job is successfully compiled with no errors that means there is nothing wrong with the project so i'll close it i'll close the project as well now i'll come back i'll run this utility so let me show you what currently i have this is my projects directory let me show you what currently i have So you you see that z underscore one two three four is there. This was the tar backup I had taken earlier. Let me remove it. Let me set here tail minus one last record in the project. So you can see this is my project which I logged into and show you that uh, job. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to delete the content inside this you know project. or let me you know delete all the project you know this project i'll delete from scratch but before doing that what i need to do is i need to take the backup so for doing the take taken the backup this is the path i'll follow the ds engine directory this is my ds engine directory i'll go i'll first of all source my ds in the file then i'll go to bin directory then uvsh utility now you can see i am data i am in data stage command language format now i will write sync project z_1234 my project name and then option so option is backup as soon as i fire this command it will start taking backup of the project it will create a tar file into your project directory itself which will be your backup of that project now you can see that now backing up current contents of project directory this to this that means there is a tar file created let me verify it going to the project directory so you can see that there is a tar file created now how to restore it back let me remove this whole directory which is my project you can see i have removed my project now that means there is nothing left on the server with this name but you need to remember there still there is a project by name z_1234 in my metadata repository which has not been removed so far so how to restore it back now so this is the prerequisite guys you don't have to remove the project from metadata repository if you remove the project from uh, metadata repository 
it will not be possible to recover this project back. So after removing this project, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the directory by the same name. This is also a prerequisite. In the same project directory, the project I have deleted, I'll just make a directory. I'll open this to show you that nothing is present there. So this is my project, CD. LS minus LTR. You can see nothing is present there. There is a total zero files. That means it is empty. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my restore command. So again, sync project. Project name, Z underscore one, two, three, four. And then restore option. Project, Z underscore one, two, three, four. That is my project name and then restore option. So what it does is, it restoring project directory, this, from our tar file and then shows uh, this is error found, fixed, comma completed, elapsed time this one. Now let me try to log in with the same project, z underscore one, two, three, four, if this works or not, because if you remember, I totally deleted the directory. And now it is logging in and you can see it has successfully logged into the same project. Let me also show you that I showed you that there is no content present into that directory. If that content is now came in, cd, project name, ls minus ltr. So now you can see that each and every file is recovered back from the backup. And also this project has been logged in successfully. I'll go to jobs, mdr, and then ABC. I'll try to open this job. If it is opening fine or not, yes, it is opening file. I am now trying to compile it. If it is able to compile as earlier or not. So guys, now you can see that job compiled successfully without any errors. That means what we did is, we removed the project completely. There was nothing left. Still, we were able to restore our project from the backup taken. So it will help you in the case there is something wrong happen on the server, your project is corrupted, there is something wrong with the project, then you can do it. There is another option to do it, reconstruct. What I can do is, I can fire the reconstruct command. So what it will do is, whatever the contents are present in your metadata repository, it will sync the same content in your project. Z underscore. One, two, three, four. And then Z construct. So as I told you guys, it will again create the same project. It will recreate your project, right? It shows one project file error found and one fixed. That means whatever the error over there, it has fixed that error. Creating file this, this, this. If you remember in my uh, you know earlier video where I explained that these are the six files which should be present for a file. So it has again created the file. From where it has created the file, it has created the file from the direct repository, metadata repository. If you see here, job ABC is in repository, but not in project. That means it has taken the uh, it from the project and then repository and then put it in the project. 
now to see if there is any redundancy or not, is there an error or not, I'll again run a report dot only command. Think project z underscore one two three four and then report dot only. It will check again generate a report on the project to show you if there is any issue with the project or not, it will basically generate a report. So guys, you can see that one job processed and zero error found. What you can do with this utility is you can generate the report on the project. You can repair if there are some kind of limited uh, issues. You can reconstruct whole project. It will generate whole project again with the contents what is done in metadata repository and project it will sync and remove all the tendencies and everything and read the, from the project backup to take the backup restore to restore the project from the backup taken so guys you can see how much leverage it is giving to you as a form of data stage admin so guys uh, i'll bring uh, some more tutorials for you just subscribe to my channel click on the bell button over there so that you can get the notification whenever i upload any uh, tutorial for you stay tuned bye bye